This is Twit. Big day for the world of Android 12 because beta number three was released. And let me tell you, if you were keeping track of the reactions to people installing Android 12 beta three, they were going bananas. And I got two words for you why they were going bananas. Rolling screenshots. All right. Yeah. It, doesn't take, it doesn't take much to impress this community, but here it is. Uh, rolling screenshots are the ability to take a screenshot of multiple screens. If you're watching the video, much how Victor is scrolling through the article from Android Police that talks about this, uh, but the ability to take a screenshot of an entire cascade, a scroll down versus a single screenshot and having to stitch them. Um, for those keeping score at home, this is something back in 2019 Google told us was impossible. Uh, yet here we are, the possible, the, the impossible has become possible, has become a reality. Flo, have you installed beta three yet? Yes. And I'm okay. going to go and ahead you, and have use you, have, have, the, have you taken any rolling screenshots? Not yet. I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. And I'm going to give you a live reaction of my sensations. Okay. okay. So here, here we go. Let's see if I can get this to work. So I'm on this, I'm on this, uh, website. I believe that's what you call them. It's at a dot com over here on my mobile Chrome. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go screenshot. <sighs> okay. How do I, how do I make it roll? Moment. It's a life changing moment, everybody. How, how so, do I make it roll? <laughs> I probably should look into that. <laughs> I have uh, not installed the beta three yet. I need to charge up my broken phone and install uh, Android 12 beta three, but I'm going to do that this week and I'm going to check out the rolling screenshots, but that is not all that Android 12 beta three has flow is, is a life changing beta rolling screenshots along with on device universal search, which yes, that's just, cool. just alone, all those four words together in that order on device, universal search sound amazing. Um, also, Faster auto rotation, which is uh, always a good thing. And that auto rotation is not just faster. Uh, they're actually using now the front facing camera to detect, to analyze your face, to detect your expectation of what the rotation of the phone should be, whether it should be portrait or landscape mode. Um, but don't worry, that is opt in in case you're worried about security and all that sort of stuff. Um, it, it's not a, a, not a default. Um, and Android 12 beta three also has, uh, the, the much leaked game dashboard, um, as well as the, the new game dashboard, as well as you have the ability to play games while they're being downloaded, which is pretty darn cool. Um, and they're rolling out uh, new game mode APIs, which standardize the system, uh, the, the various systems that, uh, developers use to make games. So you see kind of firming up the gaming side of things with this, uh, with this beta release. Um, so I don't know, like a couple of things here, Flo. Beta three, we're close to release, right? So if you're using this, you got a good sense of what Android 12 is going to feel like for you. But rolling screenshots is something very handy if we can figure out how to use it. Um, and that you know that universal on device universal search, which does require apps to play in and you know opt in and identify aspects of their data that can be searched and can be indexed, but that's pretty darn cool. Like if you can search, use Google across all of the apps on your phone, that seems like a pretty big uh, feature. What What do you make of all of, of, of this latest beta flow? Have you, do you like it? Well, I don't know if I like it yet because I realizing, so what I did today, the reason I'm having an issue just to explain is that I switched the beta from the Pixel 4a uh, 5G and I went to the, I put it on the Pixel 5. So I'm having some like issues with it right now. I don't know what's going on, but my plan was to use the beta out in the world with a SIM in it. Now that it's finally like, we're almost at the finish line. We're almost at that fourth, that fourth release, because as soon as that fourth release comes, then it's like, that's it. It's the final countdown. So that's not really working out for me right now. I'll, figure that out. As we all know, anybody who's been following me on Twitter this like last week knows I've been having nonstop phone issues related to my SIM, not related to the beta, but I just need to bring it up. I've been doing a lot of phone stuff over here. It's been getting convoluted. However, somebody mentioned in the chat, and actually you'll find this if you go and Google for the rolling screenshots, is that you'll actually get up a little prompt when you take the screenshot that uh, asks if you would like to capture a longer shot. It's a really similar mechanism to the one that we see on the OnePlus Oxygen OS. 
And so now that we're getting features like this as announced as part of the the big release, it's just making me think about all these little features that Google has plucked from these sort of third-party versions of Android, the way that these other manufacturers and you know other companies have sort of complied with what users want. They've taken that, they've plucked it, and they put it into Android 12. And so I think the thing for me, and this is not really a question that will be answered until the final release, but the thing for me will be, Will this version of Android make uh, the rest of us happy? Like, is this something that's going to be a little more universally enjoyed? Well, I mean, that's well, it's hard to predict that. But I think going back to your your point about them, you you know, kind of adding functionality. We've seen that every version where you see other independent developers or other manufacturers adding features or or you know creating functionality, and Google going, oh hey, that's a good idea, let's adopt it, right? And so. You know, I'm not surprised to see that. The the better the idea, eventually it's going to make its way into the operating system, you know, like if someone stumbles upon it. Um, that's the nature also of the or origin of Android being open source and that sort of thing. But um, if this is the operating system to make everyone happy, then no, you can't make everyone happy. You know that. Um, it is just about whether or not it is the next iteration and if it feels like the – I'm trying to channel my inner Jason here. But if it feels like – the next major chapter in the life of Android, you know, like with a, with material you with so many, you know, kind of, you know, tweaks and changes to the way this actually looks and the way you interface with it to features like this, which cha- which fundamentally change the way you use your phones. You know, it's not, I don't think it's a question of whether or not it's going to make people happy or not. It's going to be whether people adapt and are, you know, see this as, you know, this is a launch pad for the next chapter, so to speak. Um, I, I mm-hmm. do think that there's no sense in really lamenting, Android 11 or 10 or like or complaining about what's gone or what's changed because you know forever forward this is the this is the train we're on this is this is the direction it's going and either get on get on board or or not right and so choo choo you know, here goes the train yeah. come and ride the train I mean I mean I mean Flo do you see yourself not using Android because of Android 12 I mean like that's not gonna happen right so no but I but can I just be really honest and possibly controversial is for a split second. You know, I've been, I've been because of these SIM issues, I had to switch phones again. So now I'm on the OnePlus 9 5G, which is what it's officially called. Uh, it's a bigger phone. It's a Oxygen OS. It's fine. I, it's a perfectly fine phone. Uh, but I kind of thought to myself, boy, I, I just don't know how I feel about... <sighs> Material you and all the changes that are coming. Yep. I don't. I don't know yet. Well, it, and, the and more it becomes apparent what it is that I'm going to be living with, you know how when you're working on a, you know, you're remodeling a bedroom, you're adding pieces here and there. It's slowly becoming in progress. We're moving faster towards that final result. It's very bubbly, and yep. it could possibly also be because I'm using a phone with a smaller screen. It looks very crowded. Yep. So just something to think of there. Um, hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. 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 